And across the ring, in the blue corner, wearing the solid black shorts, weighing in at 15 stone, 9 pounds, 4 ounces. As an amateur former English internationalist, ABA champion, British University's gold medalist. Now undefeated professional, perfect, con perfect record, one contest, one win, and that win comes inside round number one. From Ladbroke Grove in London, it's Big D, David Adelaide! Hello, that was interesting. With a forehead on forehead. Respect your opponent, defend yourself at all times. We will see. Yeah, let's see. Michael Alexander will, uh, I suspect, have a word or two before they get underway. He's bringing them uh, to centering now. Well, we can't really pick that up, unfortunately, but I should think, in no, no certain terms, our Yorkshire Second official will be saying, one. behave yourselves. Well, Adelaide, as Tyson Fury's told us, can whack a bit. He said his right hand is a really handy weapon. Helped him prepare for the Wilder rematch in Las Vegas. Not least because, of course, Wilder's big weapon was that big right hand. Yeah, big shots, wasn't it? But uh, Adelaide started on that front foot. See, he's just, just teens man up with the jab and looking for that right hand. Gordon so very sensibly on that back foot and just holding that guard nice and high. Probably just got to vary you know, his movement a little bit more and go more to his to his right away from the right hand of Adelaide. We spoke to Frank Greaves about his progression, about what he needs to do, and he said, well, what the first thing he's got to do is realise that the biggest difference from the amateur game is that you've got to be prepared and prepare yourself and be ready to go 12 rounds, ultimately. And you can't just go in there going hell for leather from word go. Yeah, you've just got to be patient, haven't you? There's some lovely left hooks to the body here from Adelaide. One before... That, that actual one, John, was a cracking shot. But Gordon on that back foot. He's trying to watch out for the, the right hand that's coming through, but Adelaide just showing a bit of good variation. He's just whipping that left hook under the, the lead elbow of Gordon. Gordon was an MMA fighter and had plenty of unlicensed fights as well as those five paid for under boxing border control regulations. Just important for Gordon to keep those hands nice and high and keep the elbows tucked in because again Adelaide is targeting that left up to the body. After he's throwing the right hand, that's when he's switching it downstairs. But yeah, he's got a lot of power. That's a nice right hand. And he's going looking for Gordon now. He does always have attacking inclination. Fury said he reminds him a little bit of a young Dillian White. The way he goes in there and hammers in those big hooks. Business manager David Adelaide is Jonathan Barnett, who works with one Gareth Bale as well, amongst others. It's interesting, John. Adelaide again looking for the big shot. I think he was in intent of probably finishing it in this opening round, but Gordon. Give him credit on that back foot. He's taking a couple of good shots and uh, he's box clever on the back foot, but it's been Adelaide's round. Yep, clearly taking the opening round. Words of advice for David Adelaide, just 23 years old, in his corner after a fairly impressive opening three minutes. Yeah, Gordon just made a mistake there, come forward, his feet almost come square, and then he gets caught with that right hand there. So he can't afford to make those mistakes again, Gordon, but Adelaide won the first round. Do you have problems with single men stealing your identity, Richard, Richie, to make yourself make themselves more attractive on dating websites? Adelaide says he has that problem. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Fair <laughs> 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 
Oh, what well, good work. Big shots downstairs there from Adelaide again. He's in impressive shape, Adelaide, weighing less than 16 stone, standing six foot four, and really naturally heavy muscled. And there's some speed as well. Matt Gordon got tagged in the early stages of his last fight against Josh Quayley, a man from Melton Mowbray, and was blasted out in 37 seconds. Well, he's done better than that. Just a touch of frustration, you, you think, from at the moment. He's got to use his jab a little bit more, John. He's, he's, he's experiencing a, a common fault and mistake that a lot of orthodox boxers make against southpaws, and he's probably thrown it from a little bit too far out. He's got to edge in with the front foot a little bit more, throw the jab, and that then will set up the right hand, get him into range. And that's why if Gordon slows his feet down, he's going to get caught, he's got to move again. See Gordon being on the back foot and moving, that's just creating the odd problem from Adelaide. So it's important that Gordon hits and he moves. If he holds his feet, then he could walk onto a big shot. Michael Alexander having a word with Gordon about dragging his man on with that left hand, which he was using as a, a stifling tactic as much as anything. Adelaide only missing with that right hand by a whisker. A couple of years ago, when at university, he was the British University and College's super heavyweight champion, David Adelaide. He sparred Daniel Dubois, and he wants to try and make a similarly rapid progression through the ranks as uh, Daniel did. He won the Southern Area, you might remember, in only his fifth fight, Daniel Dubois, and he's looking to finish it here, you tense, and the right hand puts Gordon down, and it was the cumulative effect of a barrage of punches. Gordon was having not a bad round up to that point, but again, we spoke about him holding his feet, goes into a corner, holds his feet, and then gets caught with a couple of big shots, and the referee doesn't like what he sees, John. Well, I think he was ready to continue, but... Uh, Michael Alexander thinks differently, and so a second quick victory for Adelaide. Yeah, um, he, he has got a lot of power, hasn't he? And he put his punches together well there. Gordon actually came back in, into that round before that and threw some good shots himself, but then just gets caught and just backs up into the corner and just holds his feet just a little bit too long, and that allowed Adelaide then just to team up and then land some real big shots. And um, you know, he's done the business again t tonight. Well, I hope you're enjoying getting up close and personal with some of these uh, prospects that you're seeing on our BT fight night. And there you see heavy, heavy hands of David Adelaide. You know, if you hold your feet against this guy, and you know, although Gordon's got a good guard, there's still shots are going through the target, aren't they? Going through the, that guard and a couple of big punches at the end there. Yeah, this kid has got a lot of power and a big future. Yep, he certainly has, and uh, when you hear him to speak to Steve in a, a minute or two, you'll hear that he's a, a bright lad as well, who certainly talks a good fight, which is so much a part of the game now. Absolutely, you've got to sell yourself, haven't you, as a heavyweight, you've got to be explosive, and I think it's any other division, um, you know, the, 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 the crowd, the public, they want knockouts in the heavyweight division. They appreciate all the boxing skills in the lighterweights, but in the heavyweight division, they want to see skill and they want to see knockouts. Well, they got what they wanted here, an embrace between the two fighters, and now we can get confirmation of the result. Ladies and gentlemen, our timekeeper Stephen Pucci records an official time of 2 minutes and 44 seconds into round number two. Referee Michael Alexander stops the contest. His opinion, Matt Gordon, no position to continue. Therefore, the winner, still undefeated, David Adelaide. A baby in the professional world, but yes, you see what he's about. He is exciting. How far will he go? That's the question.